Yo, what's going on people scared about gaming? Today I've got the best OBS recording settings to help you get some smooth, high quality footage. Hey, you get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Yeah. What you want to do when you're on OBS, you want to go to your settings. So in your settings, you've got your general, nothing really needs to change on that. Your stream, you can have whatever you want for your stream. Here we go, we got our recording settings. What I do for type, I use standard. Uh, recording path is where you're going to save your video, so make sure that's somewhere you know. The recording format, MP4 always. You can use other formats for smaller file sizes, but some social medias don't support all of these formats so be careful what you use i usually use mp4 that's like the universal format so for encoder if you're using amd you want to use the h264 codec you could use h265 but to be honest me personally i've had some issues with h265 don't know if it's a personal issue based on my hardware but for amd i found that h264 works the best i don't rescale my output preset i use indistinguishable recording so you can use recording high quality indistinguishable near lossless then you got streaming you don't really want streaming for a recording near lossless will give you the best quality but it's going to have the largest file size so you don't really want to use that if you haven't got the storage and if you don't have good internet because if you have larger files then it's going to take longer to upload it to youtube bear that in mind when you're recording i use indistinguishable because it's not really that bad it's literally indistinguishable you can't tell that reduced file size is beneficial for me because i've got enough storage for my footage i just don't edit my video straight away so sometimes i've got footage just sitting there for some time until i edit the video quality preset i keep that a balanced quality preset balance is the safest way to go so as you can see right here speed has a high speed and the worst quality quality is the highest quality and the worst speed balance is a balanced mixture of the two i just have it on basic view mode keyframe is keep it on two simple as okay so here we got audio settings yeah so sample rate i use 48 kilohertz channels i use stereo i don't know what the other ones are so i just use stereo this is all pretty much default yeah i just leave it the same hey guys subscribe if you're enjoying the video and turn on notifications to never miss an upload also follow up the socials in the description if you play fortnite use code gtb in the item shop enjoy the rest of the video okay so we got video settings now so base canvas resolution is 1080p uh, that's what's being recorded the footage output resolution is what it could be scaled to is still 1080p the downscale filter i use this one Lanxos. yeah it's the best one to give you the best quality if you haven't got a good graphics card this is the first thing you want to try to turn down because sometimes you'll find it that you'll set it to Lanxos and you can't really record good quality or it might be losing a couple frames but then you drop it down to by cubic or area you don't really want to do by linear yeah but if you do by linear it might still look okay i haven't actually tried it myself so i can't actually vouch for it by cubic and area still good for this fps value I use common fps value rather than integer or fractional it's like balance you know what i'm saying but yeah i use 60 because obviously i play most games above 60 fps so 60 fps is good when it comes to the recording of the game finally we've got advanced so you got general you got your process priority the default of process priority is normally normal but i have it set to above normal so what this means is basically if your computer's experiencing some type of strain whilst it's recording and you're running the game then it's going to prioritize the processing of the footage rather than the game so that means your footage will always be good sometimes your game's running smooth your recording's running smooth for the sake of a couple frames here and there some close combat multiplayer games like fortnite or warzone for example recording starts dropping just because then one two frames so you don't want that really but to avoid crappy footage process priority is best set at above normal and this is also good for streaming when you're streaming any extra resources from your computer that process resources is needed you know what i'm saying it's crucial especially if you've got bad internet color format we got mv12 so that's the best one color space we use 709 color range 4 quick factor as well yeah youtube when it uses vp the codec to render your video it uses bt709 which is the color space so recording in 709 is like the optimal setting really that's about it but yeah if you use those settings you set some flawless video quality so comment down below if you use these settings and how it works for you obviously if it doesn't work for you you use the tips in the video like turning down the downscale filter from Lanxos to maybe by cupid or something like that so yeah if this helped you out make sure you leave a like if you're new around here subscribe and peace out my g's i put in the work get the bag and split the profit and if I'm honest, I know that I should be modest, but I don't see